are the markets are catching from this practice? Currently? This. So currently it's only the greater India region. Currently it's India and South countries, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. When it, when it starting this uh, production line? So production has started. You can see that we are all ready. Okay. And we have moved and inaugurated. So you will see production now. Going Supply on also started. Yeah. yeah. So will there be any price reduction once you have the factory over here? I, th I think we should say there will be a price increase. <laughs> 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 but no, this will give, let's not talk about price. It will give a value increase to the customers. Because this will, this is a world class, and as Henrik was earlier saying, one global quality, world class global quality products that will be manufactured here. Anywhere <coughs> else, same same global quality you get in India for Indian customers. And besides that, a lot of Indian customers will also get Indian centric products, which means we have two large global technology centers in India, which are taking the global design and then indigenizing based on the Indian centric needs. So that's going to happen. So the value for the customers goes up. The value of the building goes up with these good aesthetics, good quality, and good safety values. Yes, what would the crops will be invested in one phase, or is it a staggered? It's already invested. Okay. And what are the segments you will be covering? Residential, commercial? So from an Indian perspective, or okay. Yeah. So this caters to everything. 100% of the market segments. You have residential, which is the main segment, 70% almost. In the commercial segment, you have hotels, you have hospitals, we are all catering to it anyway from our other factory that we had. It's the same 100% of the market we cover from here. But again, we have enhanced capacity, enhanced uh, productivity, etc. So, it's a world class product. So what is the total capacity you now after the commissioning this unit? It's an expandable <coughs> capacity, and if Henry uh, can probably uh, talk about it, but it's an expandable, it's ready for the future, like we said. So we can have a lot of years that we can cater from here itself. And we see that a lot of automation. This is really an investment for the future. Uh, you know, the size of the facility we have here, uh, it is by a factor of quite a lot the largest in the region. So uh, we have plenty of scope to uh, grow and to invest. But that is how we've done it at Connect always, that uh, we, one of our most important objectives is to continue to grow faster in the markets. That means you always need to be ahead of the curve, invest in the future. We have done a great job from our previous factory in India, but this is really the next step. And this will cater for, for many years to come and, and also uh, we can export to here to Middle East or Southeast Asia. So it will become a much more important hub I would think that Chennai is uh, a very good hub for export uh, from India. What but percentage of production will be exported? Well, in the beginning, uh, when we start up, it's for India. And I think uh, India will be the vast majority for the foreseeable future, simply because India is the second largest market in the world. So just the market size here just means that uh, there's plenty of domestic demand and why we are here. The only said, countries we support currently, as Amit said, is uh, so we have uh, Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka. So these are yeah. let's say, the, the countries which currently we export. So, but <coughs> main part, of course, is India. What is it, between escalators and elevators? What is the share of uh, company? What is the percentage uh, share of uh, elevators? Well, if you look at it globally, the whole market. Indian, Indian market. Sir. Yeah, well, if you start with the whole market globally, you can say that elevators are 90% and escalators are 10%. So the escalators really for public transport, uh, shopping malls, airports and so forth, because elevators you have in more, more or less every residential building. And India is not that different. But as such, real estate is down. You know, how do you foresee the market for uh, the elevators? But you have to, uh, you know, you always have to take a long-term view. And you have to look at what the mega trends are. That is uh, how uh, we run our business. And, and you look at the Indian population. It is uh, a growing population, but in particular, it's an urbanizing population. Uh, living standard is increasing. That means that more and more people want to live in the cities where there are better opportunities. Uh, also, cities, you can create a more sustainable future. Uh, and uh, all of that will cater for growth. You have policies in India, 
uh, such as affordable housing for all 2022, all of these are fantastic opportunities. We know that the market has been challenging over the past years. There's been many new uh, regulations, which I believe are good for the long term, but have caused uh, some uh, challenges in the short term. So you have India as a factory, in, apart from China, she <coughs> doesn't in India. We have a factory. Uh, no. We moved everything here, so this, this is the only factory. But but apart, is the only. apart from that, we of course have a very wide network of sales and service offices across India. Uh, probably the largest number. So we are everywhere in India. And we have uh, two global, uh, actually two good, large technology centers. One in Chennai and one just opened. Tony has announced that by 2020, it's all elevator in India will be connected by IoT. So should we expect that all the elevators which will come out from this unit will be IoT? If you look at the current strategy overall, so uh, we are really leading the whole industry in bringing Internet of Things technology to uh, our elevators and escalators. We call it our 24-7 connected services. We have now launched that in India. So I think in the coming years, uh, the idea is that everything that we deliver will be connected. It's not happening day one. We have started it here in India. We are delivering to our customers now. And we think we're bringing a totally new level of service with that. And from here, our objective is to grow it rapidly. The escalators and the elevator is uh, uh, very dangerous to children's. So uh, anything in build for protection for children's? I would say that uh, uh, safety is what we take very seriously. If you see also in this factory, that's what we start with. Elevators uh, are in fact the safest way of transporting people. Uh, but what do we do to make sure it's even safer? We go to schools, we go to events where there are a lot of families and children, and we train people. We have a specific program uh, for that, uh, and we even have our mascots that go there make it relevant for children and for their parents. So this is something we have invested a lot in globally, and Amit can probably share what we have done uh, in India in the uh, last years, but we are very committed to safety. Uh, we have a policy that at Kone, we want all of our employees, partners, and users of our equipment to get safe home every day. So <coughs> just to expand on this, we are actually asking the government look at lift act because there are many manufacturers of elevators in India who've got different standards, so different tenders, different standards. There should be one minimum safety standard. We follow it. Being a global company, we have a global standard and therefore we don't compromise on it at all. But the other big aspect is like for instance collapsible drones, which are very common, we also produced it, you know where hands get stuck manual. We want to discontinue, completely discontinue those doors. Not that there is not a market, but the market will start disappearing because slowly customers are going to realize or people are going to realize that this is unsafe. So India's safety consciousness is growing every day. You see more and more people wearing helmets now on the roads than before. So. Actually, plenty of accidents uh, happened in months. Yeah. So the other big thing, uh, and Henry just mentioned 24-7 IoT connected services, that's going to also help it. But we also have automatic rescue device now, so when the elevator gets stuck, it used to get stuck, now it comes out on floor, which is almost oh. standard in many of the states. Question here. Where does India fit in Kone's uh, global uh, scheme of things and uh, what is the audible position for global corporation, Kone uh, corporation as well as Kone uh, India? <coughs> you want to start? Okay, so we are a 100% owned subsidiary of Kone corporation, so all the Global numbers are just kept with, uh, with with the corporation, and that's a part of it. So I think it's more relevant for a global answer. Okay, so uh, can you repeat the uh, question again? That uh, where does Kone India fit in Kone Corporation scheme of our uh, things? Uh, you are in terms of our uh, turnover, in terms of our uh, units, and uh, in okay. terms of our uh, export markets. And uh, what is the audible position for Kone India as well as uh, for Kone Corporation? So, and uh, in your results, uh, I remember that uh, you had said that a uh, growth rate will be about 5% this year. So, uh, so first of all, India 
is uh, when we look at number of units that we deliver, deliver elevators and escalators, it's number two in the world. Uh, China is by far the largest market, that, that's where we deliver the most. But uh, India, in number of units delivered, is number two. In terms of revenues, we operate in many, many countries. So today, uh, India is about 3% of our uh, global uh, revenues. When you look at our global growth this year, in the first three quarters of the year, we have grown at uh, about 8%. So uh, we are growing quite rapidly, and that growth is happening all over the world. Uh, just a couple of questions. Uh, what is the key rationale behind this new facility? Uh, is this facility, I mean, uh, currently the growth, you know, there is a slowdown in terms of, uh, you know, across segments, construction, other sectors. Uh, what makes you, you know, uh, I know this must be uh, in, uh, mainly to cater to the future demand. Uh, what are the sectors you think will drive the demand in the coming uh, years? Well, as, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, at Kone, we think about our future very far ahead. We think a decade ahead or more. And we see a lot of potential in the Indian market. The, the real estate sector has now been challenging for the past years. But with the policies we talked about, such as affordable housing for all, we, uh, and the urbanizations happening, we see a lot of potential. So this is uh, for us to be ready for future growth. Uh, our old factory uh, was a great factory, good 